typically it is one or the other most of the time you already know which one it is which one of it is going to be so are they ever going to give up their rights they likely won't just sign off on them right so let's so that we have we have narcissists that that are like headstrong that that are using that are intentionally using their children as manipulation as pawns as tools um, are fighting for them tooth and nail in the in courtroom want 50 50 um, are taking pictures of, of, of you know with them and, and blasting all over social media that type of narcissist no chance in hell that they would ever sign off on their rights and there's no chance in hell that you're going to even try or manip get them to manip manipulate them to do it right there's no chance in hell that that's going to happen and there's no courtroom that would, would allow for that to happen either you also but you also have a narcissist that might fight in court for 50 50 or whatever but then once everything is signed and executed they don't participate with the child with, with the child this type of narcissist likely won't just sign off on sign off on um, on rights but they'll disappear right so we have some narcissists that they're still what they're doing is that they're still using their children as a pawn but in their mind if you're stuck with the child if the child is at your place, guess what? In their mind, you're not you're not able to date. You can't move about. You're, you're, you they they view the child as an anchor. This is the reason why some some of you your experience has been that when the child is with the narcissist, what are they doing? Calling you up every five seconds. They're sick. They need this. They need that. Right? And what are you doing? Where are you at? Right? Concerned about you because you don't have the anchor. You could be out screwing whoever you want. You could be out doing whatever you want. Right, and this bothers them. That type of narcissist, there's a better chance that they now they won't sign just sign off on it. They could possibly just disappear. For a lot of people, they make a big mistake in this situation. They actually try to force the relationship between the narcissist and their child. Don't do this. Allow for the child to see who this person actually is. What I tell people is that you do not want your child experiencing because when the child is there, they know that they're not wanted. That is not a good feeling for them, for them to have, right? So we don't deny access, but if they're not participating, then they're just not participating, period. In a situation like that where a narcissist is not participating, let's say they disappear for six months, then you can have a conversation. Every state is different, right? But you can have a conversation with a lawyer, with a judge, uh, or, or whoever the powers that be, I haven't heard from this person in six months, in a year, in two years. At the very least you can do is you can have the custody modificate, modified to reflect what's actually happening. right? So if they haven't participated, then now you have full custody, even if on paper it's 50-50. Now, it's very, very, if, if this happens more often than what people think. And so a lot of times the narcissist might disappear. They might disappear literally for two years. If you are going through that situation, it is important, it is imperative that you do go back to court and you do have that, that custody order modified. Here's the reason why. You go two years and you're like, oh, I haven't heard from them. You go, you live your life, you're enjoying life, you've healed now, you've met a, a great new significant other. Guess who's all of a sudden going to try to circle back? The narcissist. Now the child hasn't had a relationship with them. But on paper, guess who, guess who has to execute on that order? You do. You, so they can be gone for two years, but because you didn't execute the order, because you didn't have it modified, you now have to go back to 50-50, even though the child hasn't seen their, their, their person in, in two years, five years, six months, whatever the case is. Right? And they will hold you to that. Right? You can, obviously, there's things that you can do to fight for it. It's a, much more, it's a, it's a di more difficult fight when they circle back than it is had you been proactive when the person disappears so make sure make sure that you that it's it's important i hear about this all the time right and especially once once things start getting better for you once you start getting more successful um so it is uh so make sure that you guys are taking care of that be very proactive with that